My name is Edan Hapto Michael and I'm from Eritrea. I was two when we came here, so I don't remember much. We lived in Eritrea. My mum was born and raised there, and I was born there. There was war when I was born, so we left and came here because it wasn't safe to live in Eritrea. It was really, 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 really like somebody else like dropped me off on a big dark hole because your home is your life. So I lost everything. I lost myself even. Well, when we were back home in Eritrea, my mum had everything she wanted. She was a journalist, she has her family there. So moving here, she technically went from having everything to having nothing. I thought I'm going to die when I came here first. I just locked myself behind doors for three months and I cried. I said, I have to end my life. That, when I saw my daughter, what do I have to do with her? And then when I said that, when I just get this hope from um, the people, they opened the door for me, these organisations, and exceptionally, exceptionally, a very powerful woman, Amanda Jensen, when she said, you can do it, just, just get up and then just walk. Eden has many qualities, which has made her such a remarkable and wonderful woman and leader. I feel that the decisions that she makes, she always puts people first. I did start a lot of things like a drama club for the young people just to be together and to learn from each other and then the football clubs and then the women's group. So she's not a patronising person who's coming to someone in distress telling them what to do. She's been there, she's lived it. Everything you need, you will come to you at the perfect time, she said. Uh, now I am still waiting, you know. When, when I talk to her, I see hope, you know, in her eyes and she give me hope. I know how it feels, I know how it hurts. So I'm not doing only the project, I'm just sharing my heart, sharing my story with them. I think what we're not doing well enough in this country is welcoming people and helping them start again. And we have people who, refugees and asylum seekers, who are contributing enormously to this country and it's not being recognised. I live in now with host Oxford, with family and anything Anything I need, I will ask her like mother. She's had such a great impact on so many people's lives. She's my hero. Even, even her phone now, I saved in her mobile number, my hero. My hero. She, uh, she was the role model. It's not just for us, she is the, a role model for her daughter too. Don't say you can't do it. If you can dream it, and if you can try it, you can do it. That's what I do to people all the time.